Now, Kevin Molino is open to returning to the national team setup once his two-match suspension is served. The midfielder found to have break camp, broken camp rather two twice in just over a month and subsequently left out of the Caribbean Cup fixture against Martinique last month, initially took a self-imposed exile of one year. But he's now eager to wear the red, white and black again and as soon as possible. What took place uh, in the months of August and September leading to Kevin Molino's too much ban now from Soka Warriors duty? Well, you know, um, certain things happened I didn't like and I didn't appreciate and I was wrong. You know, I hold my hand up and say it when I was wrong. Some of my actions and the way I operate in camp was inappropriate, but certain things I didn't like. You know, and the most important thing no, it's not about me. It's about the team moving forward. And Ever since Kevin Molino was first found to have breached team camp along with two teammates on August 30th, three days before a fixture against Guatemala, and then again days before a meeting with Martinique on October 11th, questions have been raised about the player's character. For me, people who have been around me and be in my life will really know who I really am. You know, and I'm not a selfish person. And first thing, I'll hold my up and say, I'm not big on the team and I'm not big on the game. Because I remember I was injured 10 months and I missed the game a lot. But as I rightfully said before, certain things happened and I didn't appreciate it. Maybe my actions wasn't appropriate and I hold my hand up and said that. And the coach made his decision for the team. Bellino has admitted to doing the crime and now must do the time but his two-match suspension could not be over soon enough. First, uh, the game coming up, I'm going to be there supporting the team 100% because I am part of it also. And my dream is to go a senior team World Cup. You know, and anytime selection come up, yes, I'm definitely willing to accept with open hands.